I'm going to be talking about uh, Arundhati Roy's very important novel that is The God of Small Things. It is, it is written between 1992 to 1996 in Delhi and it was published in uh, 1997 as you know. And the setting is in Kerala, India and uh, Arundhati Roy has been influenced by Salman Rushdie uh, very importantly. This novel is significant because of a lot of ideas that is related to it because uh, it shows us uh, how is the relationship and who to make relationship how much love should be conveyed like there is a social setting set up and, and uh, a kind of idea that it breaks the norm and uh, people feel that uh, to whom to make relationship it depends on a kind of uh, circumstance or situation that is involved uh, uh, personally with it so that is uh, importantly uh, penetrated. That's why, although this Arundhati Roy's novel God of Small Thing has been criticized many times, with a uh, severely criticized, but still it has been nominated uh, for Booker Prize. And Arundhati Roy penetrated the Indian society culture and with a different setting for sure. <clears throat> although it is published in 1997, it got the same uh, Booker Prize in 1997. So that is uh, really a good surprise for the writer too and uh, the critics. So the main concept that has been focused uh, here is Marxism. Marxism uh, was uh, prevalent and we, we saw two different timing, 1969 to 1993. Marxism actually believes that the poor class should be g given more importance and the rich people who are having a lot of properties within them, they are not helping the poor people. So Marxism is a very important part and the God of Small Things uh, has been set with eh Ahem Ahem is a very important pl uh, place where we can see the two vital protagonists, Asta and Rahel. <coughs> Rahel and Asta were the twins and they are the significant character in God of Small Things and they, they belong to the third generation although. Uh, they uh, show the great significance uh, in the story. So the God of Small Things uh, go on with a two different timing as I already told you 1969 and 1993. So Ahem is a place which represents the whole India and the two vital characters Mamachi and Papachi are the first generation they got married and Mamachi has been beaten by Papachi several times and there was no good relationship. They have uh, two children, Chako and Ammu. Chako and Ammu, they uh, were very uh, good. They had good relationship. Chako in the meantime got married to Margaret. Uh, they gave birth to Sophie, a very uh, cute daughter. But unfortunately, Chako had no good relationship with Margaret and Margaret got married to Joe. Chako became uh, lonely and he returned to Ahmeham. That was the interesting part. And Ammu got married to a call, person called Baba in Kolkata. And uh, she felt very much disappointed with the same behavior that uh, he has seen. Ammu and Baba got uh, two children, that is twin, uh, Rah Rahel and Ast Asta. <coughs> So there the story continued and in the meantime uh, something happened uh, here as well as you can see uh, Baba was not a good person uh, he misbehaved and he wanted Ammu to stay sleep with uh, one of his boss so finally Ammu also returned ahem ahem with Asta and Rahel so the bonding between brother and sister continued and here we can see uh, the main villain of the story, baby Kochama, who was the sister of uh, Papachi. And uh, baby Kochama was the one type of character he, she didn't like anybody's happiness. So she tried to influence everybody here. And Chako invited Margaret when he heard that Joe died uh, in a road accident. And finally, Margaret and Sophie, they returned to India and uh, the incident took place that like uh, they were going to the airport to receive margaret and sophie and uh, story started there it amazingly uh, portraying something very important because uh, at that time marxism has been shown uh, where a kind of situation was created the, the sound of music was the movie they were supposed to watch after uh, receiving sophie and margaret uh, everything was going well 
but uh, baby kochama noticed uh, something very un unfriendly that uh, marxism and the protestants they were uh, communism is developing and the communists were very much aggressive they were doing something related to the situation they were angry the social setting everything was uh, not very much normal that time because poor people were unhappy with the behavior of the rich class in the meantime as you can see ammu <coughs> ammu uh, felt a kind of uh, different ideas with the social setup because she is a alone mother and she got separated from baba and asta and rahel was with ammu and chaku was living with uh, uh with sophie and margaret so the cousins sophie as asta rahel they got together in a situation and at one situation there was a complex idea that was developed because ammu had a relationship with uh, someone a very important character came up in the middle that is uh, a uh, very important character veluta veluta uh, was one of the workers and he had good relationship with the communist leaders and he used to work in the pickle factory as you understand veluta uh, and ammu had a very good bonding once uh, veluta's uh, father identified that uh, veluta and ammu had a relationship so uh, veluta's father uh, asked uh, them to get married but baby kochama never liked veluta because of the fact that uh, he belonged to a very poor class and uh, a daughter from their family should not get married to a, re a poor uh, family and uh, low class people so baby kochama created the problem and ammu although protested and wanted to uh, get connected to veluta it was not possible Esther and Rahel in the meantime they they couldn't hold on to the clash and the family pressure and situation so finally Esther Rahel and Sophie they wanted to go to history house history house one of the places where they used to spend time but in the meantime uh, the boat uh, has got drowned and uh, Sophie died and Esther and Rahel whole night they tried to find out Sophie but very unfortunately they couldn't they slept in the place uh, history house in the meantime veluta uh, was in trap because baby kochama filed a case uh, against veluta that uh, he uh, raped ammu and uh, uh, kidnapped rahel and astha and also he murdered sophie so police uh, wanted to investigate and they found astha rahel and veluta and uh, veluta has been beaten very severely as you can understand uh, it was almost like near death and esta and rahel uh, got up from their woke up from their sleep and uh, testified that uh, veluta was not the uh, criminal rather uh, somebody else it, it was uh, normally happened but uh, baby kochama played another another game and they tried to say that uh, esta and rahel to convince and say something against veluta and uh, finally baby kochama kochama was success, successful quite in order to convince the police that veluta was responsible for the death of uh, sophie so esta and rahel uh, couldn't as they were young and little they couldn't go beyond baby kochama's threat and veluta became arrested and he was uh, severely punished and very unfortunately veluta died in the jail uh, and ammu felt very much uh, uh, insulted because baby kochama convinced chako ammu's brother that ammu should be given uh, sent out of the house and uh, esta and rahel uh, was in trouble too rahel was uh, uh, these brother and sisters finally uh, rahel chako got convinced uh, with the fact that sophie was murdered because of ammo's uh, help with the ve veluta so chako felt very dis disgusted with ammo ammo was sent out of the house esta and rahel was also separated uh, baba was uh, taking responsibility of ones and another so finally these twins esta and rahel got totally separated the incident was uh, very much critical at one point because these brother and sisters uh, were separated and 
it was very much uh, sad for these twins because there was nobody to understand their uh, psychological depression deeper understanding was uh, going on it was tough then the story came at 1993 after 1969 uh, when esther and rahel they became uh, uh, like very mature they were 31 years old and esther and rahel uh, in the meantime let me tell you what happened they got also married to someone and Rahel got married to a person in India after the ma ma death of Ammu and uh, she lived in Boston but later on they the marriage didn't survive. She got divorced and came back to Amaham. In the meantime, Esther also got married to someone. Uh, Rahel and Esther both got married but uh, they became unsuccessful and came back to Amaham. When Esther and Rahel they uh, were in 1993, they uh, were 30 years old and they decided to get meet to each other and uh, baby kochama was the one who was uh, just enjoying her own life with a cook and they were watching television there often and Esther and rahel uh, finally they uh, found themselves in the history house which became five star hotel now and uh, they tried to talk to each other a long time and they talked to each other and they had a physical relationship in the meantime and they couldn't know what they are doing but uh, they just expressed themselves because there was nobody to understand their psychological depression sadness and uh, separation which uh, they have suffered they were the victim of this situation and they f faced uh, so many difficult situations in their family only because of the plot uh, developed by baby kochama so that was the story and uh, i believe that it you understand the depth of it thank you for watching uh, this uh, video please do subscribe our channel and it will help you to understand more contents